Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Derek Ruby Show. I am your host of Previously Mentioned Mr. Ruby, and this is a discussion video about what is canon. Canon is something that you always hear people argue about when it comes to a franchise, whether or not something was legit the way it's supposed to be. So what does that exactly mean? So the Wikipedia main definition of canon, and I'm not going to read the whole thing, is in fiction, canon is the material accepted as officially part of the story in the fictional universe of that story. It is often contrasted with or used as the basis for works of fan fiction. Here's the thing, though. Many people seem to get hung up on the idea of canon. So I'm going to try to use a couple examples and make this relatable to a lot of different generations. So first, I'm going to start with the Dragon Ball franchise. Dragon Ball is created by a man named Akira Toriyama. Dragon Ball started in manga, which is basically Japanese comics. And of course, Dragon Ball has had numerous successful shows. But you will see people argue about things such as, Hey, Brawly was in a movie. None of the movies were in the books. It's not canon. Or, hey, the Garlic Jr. saga in the show, that wasn't in the book, so that's not canon. It's just filler. Or, hey, Dragon Ball GT, that doesn't have any manga, therefore it's not canon. To top all that off, every now and then, Toriyama will come out and say, Well, this was added into the show because I didn't have time to add it into the book. Or he'll change his mind on something that he already added in the book, and it'll be in an interview somewhere, and therefore some people will say, well, because he said it, that makes it canon. The second example I'd like to go over is Transformers. The original Transformers started with a toy line. It had a TV show by Marvel Productions, as well as a line of comics from Marvel Comics. Now, the show and the comics didn't communicate, and they didn't have a lot of source material to work off of. They were given a Bible by Hasbro that essentially had some character traits for each one of the characters. And that's it. Each one kind of went their own way. Now, Transformers, the TV show, was seen by a lot more people than the actual amount of people that read the comic books. But since they were both starting from scratch, you can look at a character like Shockwave, who in the show was very loyal to Megatron. In contrast to that, in the comics, it wasn't even the third issue that he took over and usurped Megatron's throne and became the leader of the Decepticons. And when you get past all that, in the United Kingdom, they had a separate set of comic books that differed from the American version. So which one of these would be canon? A lot of elements that came from the TV show, such as the way Cybertron's depicted, the idea of the Matrix of Leadership, Starscream being Megatron's second-in-command, a lot of that stuff still continues on with the continuity of that franchise today. Then you have movie universes. And this is where a lot of things change in a lot of ways. Because movies have to be made to encourage the general audience to go watch it. So you look at something like the case of Spider-Man, the Sam Raimi movies decided that Spider-Man shoots web right out of his hands. The original Spider-Man in the Marvel 616 continuity, which is the main Marvel stories, Spider-Man got bit by a radioactive spider and he has a pair of web shooters so he could shoot the webs. Then you have the Amazing Spider-Man movies, which kind of does the same thing. And you have Spider-Man Homecoming, which does the same thing, but they're completely different Peter Parkers. Then you look at something like the 90s TV show of Spider-Man and he was bit by a spider that was engineered by eugenics. So while these are all similar, they all have very different backstories. And in my opinion, they all have their own canons. Now, if you really want to get confusing, let's look at Voltron, Defender of the Universe, the 1980s cartoon that a lot of people grew up on. So the Voltron footage was heavily edited from a show called Beast Go Lion. And the second season of Voltron was based off another unrelated anime called Armored Fleet Derriger 15, if I'm even saying that right. But here in America, we changed the music, we changed the characters' names, we spliced in clips, and we made those shows seem like they were the exact same show when they really weren't. And Voltron was so much more popular than it was in Japan that Toei Animation made a movie called The Fleet of Doom, which used the characters from both shows to make a Voltron movie. And since Voltron recently has had a reboot on Netflix, which is very good by the way, you should see it, does that mean since it's more popular worldwide and it's different than it was originally intended, does that make that canon because it's more prominent? Or did the other two shows take precedent because they were first and are they canon, even though they weren't nearly as popular? Don't even get me started about reboots and retcons, because you look at something like the Halloween franchise, and it goes all the way to Curse of Michael Myers, but people didn't like that, so then they have Halloween H2O. But after H2O, they have Resurrection, and they didn't like that either, so now they have Rob Zombie reboot the thing. Then John Carpenter, he didn't like Rob Zombie's reboots, and he didn't like the other movies, so now he's going ahead and making a reboot of his own, and the only thing he's counting is the first movie. And that kind of stuff can really mess your head up. So I guess my point is, the next time you're having an argument with one of your friends or they tell you something's not canon, at least you'll have a little idea what they're talking about. But since the definitions vary a lot, you're just going to have to make your mind up as to what you feel is canon. Is it what the creator says? Is it what comes first? Is it what's in a TV show? Is it what's in the comic? Is it what's in the book? 
But just real quick, I'll give you my definition, which I kind of stated earlier, but I'll restate it again. I kind of feel like everything has its own canon, and it's kind of an alternate reality of what the original source material may or may not be. So you have a comic book universe, you have a cartoon universe, you have a movie universe, you have a book universe, you have a whatever universe, video game universe. So all I'm saying is there's nothing wrong with having awesome discussions. You should always be open to learn things about your favorite franchises. But don't chastise somebody because they may not fit into what your definition of canon might be. Don't be narrow-minded either because you don't want to hear the facts about one of your favorite characters, though. So if you would like to leave your definition of canon in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. So anyway, thank you guys for listening to The Derek Ruby Show. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. And as always, have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time. But don't chastise somebody because they may not fit into what your definition of canon might be.